I am a poet, and I am sitting on the R5 regional rail train to North Wales to grease my fingertips with my mama's fried chicken and potato salad. And by the way, I'm reading poetry of the 60s. Nikki, Sonia, Etheridge, Amiri. I am trying to piece together all the friend and love affairs that may have gone on between all these poets. There are parts missing, but I am content with what I know, that just like nowadays, poets then were bound to befriend one another, bound to swim in schools, and bound to fall in love. I imagine that us poets of the millennium will someday write the bios of the poets of the 90s, and then our big-headed kids will someday write the bios of our generation. And everyone will discover the secret that poets love each other sometimes. Respect your art, poets. You want to say that we got a renaissance here, that we got a rebirth of creativity, a resurgence of poetry going on? The Harlem Renaissance, the Beats, the Black Arts Movement, been long gone, but their magic is still here. What will it take for our children's children to say the same about us? It will be the poem on the page, in the ether, the poem amongst the music, the art itself, not the fantasy, the mirage, the mystique of what being an artist is perceived to be. I'm a poet, and sometimes sitting down to write the word be hard, be ugly, be painful, be so real that I may beg myself to stop. But the real poets press on. The real poets press on.